very good morning and a very warm welcome to Golden Moments, episode 19. And it is a warm welcome and one is a very cold January morning. Um, but really vibrant activities taking place here today at Golden Hillock School. Um, we've got one of our flexible learning days taking place. Uh, you're going to see in a moment some students working on some creative arts projects, but also students have had the opportunity today to improve their mathematics uh, and also to develop their ability to express themselves and to deal with problems and concerns that face them. But uh, I'm delighted now to hand over to Miss Marchant, who's going to talk about the opportunities that students have had to demonstrate their creative ideas within art and also other forms of expression. Hello and welcome to Flexible Learning Day. The art department are doing work with Year 7 where we are looking at local artists from Small Heath, Roland Emmett, who died recently. Uh, we are developing the students' teamwork and their tolerance of other people's thoughts and opinions by creating marvellous machines. This is a great opportunity for Year 10 to develop their leadership skills and work directly with the Year 7s, uh, almost taking on the role of a teacher to facilitate their learning. Hi there, my name is Rahim and Year 7 are working on working together to create a marvellous machine. Um, it's my job to help them by being creative, friendly and cooperative and it's my job also to um, make them develop on their team working uh, skills so that they can uh, use them later on in life when, to solve problems. Hi, so we're going to look at these girls and what they've been creating. They've been solving an everyday problem. So girls, can you tell me what the problem um, is? Like, haven't you ever had that day when you want to, you didn't want to get out of bed? Like, it's, you're really comfortable in your bed and you're forced to get out of bed. With this contraption, we're, we're going to add some wheels on our bed and we're going to, so, um, we're going to like, you can move around so you can bring your bed with you anywhere you want. Excellent. And what sort of materials are you using to make your bed? Go on, tell me what sort of materials. Um, miss, if it was to be something real life, we'd make the wheels like rubber. Okay. So they'd move without like stumbling on everything. But what are you using today? Um, cardboard. Cardboard. Um, we've made a frame out of mm -hmm. uh, straws. Um, and we use pom poms, pom poms for. Um, yes. Excellent. Hello, um, our group is 7 4 and today they are making their robots. So we've got a young man down here that's going to talk about his robots. Hello, today me and my teammate, we've been making a robot. Our plan was, so the purpose of the robot was so that people can make their food whatever they want. So if you're in bed, you can make it. So you just type everything you want on this panel and you just clip what you want, breakfast, lunch, dinner, tea, drinks, and then it comes out from this side. And these are where you store all the plastic cup, plates and cups. So this is the start of the robot down here. So what have we got here? Uh, this is the um, when you open the door and then the food comes out of there. So the food comes out of there. So this is where you type in, is it, what you yeah. want? With all the numbers well. Is it going to have a dinner option as well? Yeah, the dinner, we're still making the dinner. But we've made breakfast, lunch, dinner, tea and drinks. That's all the things that we have. Again, we've got another example here. So Tayyip is going to speak through his model. Um, so it's called the Melomatic because what you do is you put um, some ingredients to that tube, and inside it functions, it fun functions, and it makes a meal which I learned here. But you come to its conveyor and also it uh, has a remote control that we're working on, and um, you can pour drinks from this um, drink machine and hot drinks too. We've got uh, another robot here that's been produced. So, do you want to explain your design? This is the awesome striker, and this makes life easier because when you drive, when you're driving to school, you could put your clothes on, do your toothbrush, and give you a shower at the same time. So, um, you get ready on the time you want it. So you're not late, you're not early, you're just in between. So there you have it, some fantastic work taking place. Students have been given the opportunity to express themselves in a wide variety of diverse um, and very, I think, inspirational ways. Um, so that's it for Golden Moments this week. Look forward to seeing you for episode 20 next Friday at the same time.